part 6. Hello everyone. Today we will implement this pseudocode using Python. Watching this video, you will see a simple version of the backbone of the Google search engine. We will not use any special packages for PageRank algorithm. We will only use the NumPy library, a powerful library for numerical computations in Python. First, we import the NumPy library. Next, we define two variables, threshold and beta. The threshold is a very small number that we will use as a stopping criterion for our algorithm. This beta variable is the damping factor used in the page rank algorithm, which accounts for the probability that a random surfer will continue clicking on links. We talked about this beta in detail in the previous video. This variable beta is also known as the damping factor. 1 minus beta is the probability that the random surfer will teleport. Then we define a 2D list A. This is the internet that this adjacency matrix is representing. A1 in the adjacency matrix indicates a link from one web page to another. Note that a column represents the source node and a row represents the target node. That means Outgoing links are encoded from column to row. Here we are using the same approach for the adjacency matrix that we used in the first video of the page rank series. This specific graph is from the previous video. It includes a spider trap. We convert this list into a NumPy array ARR or R for easier manipulation to make sure that integer divisions are not used rather real number divisions are performed. Next, we calculate the sum of each column in R to determine the total number of outgoing links from each web page and store these sums in the list S. We then create a new matrix M from R by dividing each column by its corresponding sum in S. This makes M a column stochastic matrix where the sum of each column equals 1, representing the probabilities of transitioning from one web page to another. We initialize our rank vector R new to be a uniform distribution. Each web page is initially assigned an equal rank. We also define a vector C which accounts for the teleportation part of the random surfer model. We discussed in the previous video how this vector C would remain a constant vector for a given internet with a specific damping factor beta. The rank vector Rpriv is then initialized with the same value as Rnu. We then enter the main loop of our algorithm. This loop iterates a maximum of 1000 times, which should be sufficient for convergence in most cases. In our pseudocode, we used an infinite loop. In practice, even 1000 iterations are too much. We will see that for this size of the internet work, the convergence will occur pretty fast. Within each iteration, we first calculate the new rank vector R new based on the previous rank vector Rpriv, the transition matrix M, and the teleportation vector C. Note that we are using the formula that we designed in the previous video. We then check if the L1 norm of the absolute difference between R new and Rpriv is less than our predefined threshold. If it is, we break the loop because our rank vector has converged this is the part where in our pseudocode we said when R new and R prev are almost equal, we break the loop. In this code, we are saying that if the L1 norm value, which is just a number of the absolute difference between the two vectors R new and R prev is smaller than a small threshold, we consider that the algorithm has converged. If the rank vector has not converged, we update Rpriv with the values of Rnu and continue to the next iteration. Finally, once the loop has finished, we print the final rank vector. 
Note that I also printed the iteration numbers so that at the end we know how many iterations the page rank algorithm went through. And there we have it. This is the page rank algorithm using Python. It handles the random surfer model and spider traps. And it's robust enough to handle any web graph you throw at it. Notice that running the code with the adjacency matrix of the internet that had this spider trap with beta equals 0 0.8 the page rank probability of website A is 0.1489367, website B is 0.1063829, website C has a page rank probability of 0.7446085. That means web page C is the most important one, then web page A, and then the least important website is web page B. Based on the settings we used, Beta equal to 0.8 indicates that 80% of the time the surfer will follow a hyperlink and other 20% of the time the surfers will teleport to a random web page. With this setting of beta, for this threshold of convergence, for this network, we needed 42 iterations to converge, which is way less than 1000 allowed iterations in this loop. You can change this beta damping factor and test what happens. If we change this beta value to 1.0, our page rank juice will end up on website C. Running the code with beta equal to 1.0, we find that website C has the probability very close to 1, and website A and B have very, very small probabilities. That means with beta equal to 1.0, the spider trap is active. A beta value of 1 indicates a scenario where there is no teleportation. In other words, surfers would continue clicking on links indefinitely without ever jumping to a new page at random. In reality, this is not the case. Surfers often get bored, are lost, and teleport to a new web page without following a hyperlink. To make our page rank model realistic, we typically set beta to a value less than 1, commonly a value between 0.8 and 0.9. Adjusting the beta value allows us to control the balance between link following and teleportation behavior in our model, which can lead to different page rank results. I'll set beta to 0.8 in my code because I don't like spider traps, and neither does Google. Nowadays, search engines are much more complex, with many more components added to the equation. Also, personalization plays a vital role now. Don't teleport from this video without liking it and sharing it with others. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I'll provide a link with the code in the description section below. Stay tuned for our next video. See you soon. With beta equal to 0.8, we are saying that the chance that the random surfer 